Giant cell arteritis is a form of vasculitis, and vasculitis is a general term that simply means there's inflammation of blood vessels, and there are a lot of different kinds of vasculitis. This one in particular, the giant cell arteritis, tends to affect large blood vessels. Classically, it's in people above the age of 50 and typically causes what are called cranial symptoms, so mostly headache, tenderness in the scalp, changes in vision, maybe pain in the jaw or tongue with chewing. The um, most dreaded complication of giant cell arteritis is typically thought to be blindness and uh, it doesn't affect major organs typically that um, would be a cause of death in the short term. That said, it can affect blood vessels, including large vessels, and we now know that in addition to the cranial symptoms, a fair number of patients develop involvement of arteries, the aorta, and large vessels, and involvement of those vessels can be a bad thing. Um, it's been associated with aortic aneurysms, and rupture of aortic aneurysms certainly can kill one. But Takayasu's arteritis is another form of vasculitis that typically affects large blood vessels, classically the aorta and the major vessels coming off of the aorta. It is seen primarily in younger people, so as opposed to giant cell arteritis where the uh, we think of it as affecting people over the age of 50, Takayasu's is in younger people. And the age cutoff that's usually used is 40 or under for it. More often affects women than men. It has a predilection for Asian populations. Again, with Takayasu's, it's um, involvement of major vessels um, that can then cause trouble with the downstream organs. And the ones that we worry about, or the, probably the one we worry about the most, is um, the brain with uh, stroke and other um, uh, symptoms there. It can affect um, the carotid arteries and other major arteries, can affect the aorta as well. So for both, the primary treatment is steroids, is using corticosteroids, prednisone typically, and it usually needs high doses of prednisone to control. The um, steroid, the so-called steroid sparing or immune suppressing drugs that we use for rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases don't seem to do much for giant cell arteritis. There have been some studies with Takayasu's arteritis to show that methotrexate can be helpful and in patients who don't respond to methotrexate some people use the TNF blockers that are also used for rheumatoid arthritis.